Oh hey, welcome back to the channel for another video. Uh, today I am doing or I'm attempting a uh, epic ride for summer solstice. So June 21st. Um, yeah, I've done a few uh, hundred Ks uh, without too much trouble. Uh, did a gravel 140K, which was with other people, so it was a little easier, but still pretty hard. Took all day. But uh, yeah, let's see how today goes. Um, the goal is 200, but uh, I think I'll be happy with a uh, with 160. That, that would be like a uh, equal to my longest ride ever. Uh, which was about 25 years ago. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, keep tuned in. We'll uh, be back with more updates. Ciao. Well, it's so humid out, you can't even see the uh, mountains today. But it's still about uh, 28 or 29 degrees right now. As I do this little climb, I just wanted to uh, let you in on my weapon of choice. Today is the Orbea Orca with uh, Zip 404s and uh, Conti 5000 rubber. I also decided to keep it a little bit simple today. Lap 3, 12.32. And uh, just do a road that, uh, or just do all the roads that I normally ride and uh, try to link them all together. It's uh, quite hilly out here, so it's uh, pretty much inevitable that there will be a lot of climbing. So, um, yeah. We'll keep on going. didn't uh, prepare very well for this epic ride um, I guess in hindsight I probably like you know should have laid out all my kit and uh, my food and uh, you know I guess made some kind of strategy for uh, for doing the ride but anyways um, I guess at first I was thinking of bringing my gravel bike too and then uh, decided that the road bike was probably the best uh, effort to uh, distance ratio so I thought that was probably the best idea but my my riding uh, intuition tells me that I should probably start here's the strategy I, I'm gonna start uh, with a big loop and then get progressively smaller so that my sense of achievement is still there and my, uh, I guess my optimism uh, remains somewhat high. So we'll see how that works and uh, I'm about 25k in now so you know only 175k left to go. All right, okay, back in a bit.
it's Santa Cruz, about 32, yeah, 32K uh, in so far. Um, this is kind of like the outer region of my uh, psychological dog collar, I guess, if you will. Um, it's where I usually turn around. It's like really like, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here, but basically outside of this is outside of my comfort zone. There you go. Oh yeah, the other thing I was going to say is that um, I wasn't sure whether I was going to make a video of this or just do the ride. Um, but yeah, that would be why I have no action camera, no drone, no, um, just a phone, just an iPhone. So that's all you get. Um, I don't know. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Oh man, it's lunch yet. Uh, hitting about 70k in right now of 200. Uh, almost done a full large loop now, so I'll probably do a couple out and backs and then uh, maybe a few small loops. But uh, top tips for doing this. Um, yeah, plan ahead, plan for, uh, you know, 50 to 60 grams of carbohydrate per hour. So depending on how long it's going to take you to do it, uh, I was packing quite a bit of food. So um, I'm, uh, I did not do that. <laughs> I'm uh, relying on solely the uh, gummies that were left in my bar bag that I put on to my road bike uh, I've gone through uh, one large big bottle I probably should have gone through two feeling a bit thirsty but uh, I'm close to a bunch of stores now so I will rely on the local fare for uh, getting some food I think probably another 10k and I'll grab a sangi from the grocery store from the corner store so Anyways, amazing, look at this. Incredible. Man, it might not be Girona, but uh, it's sure a reasonable facsimile. All right, I might talk to you at lunch, but uh, otherwise, till then, Peace out. Okay, stopped for lunch. Uh, didn't really have anything. Just kind of looking forward to like a cheese sandwich or something like that, you know, like what you get on an airline or something. But anyways, managed to get a uh, pastry. They're pretty good. They're not bad. Um, but... Yeah, I uh, will have to 
just basically inhale like a pizza or something when I get home from this ride because I will I will be hungry. So yeah. Um, tip number two: um, when you're on a long ride like this, uh, you see some other riders go by. Don't try to tag on. Don't try to stay with them on the hill. Just let them go. Let them go. It's the best way. Because trust me, the more bullets you spend early on, obviously the less you have at the end of the ride. And that's probably when you're going to need them. So anyways, and eat. Ciao for now. Okay, tip number four. I think we're on four. Are we on four? I think we're on four. There's nobody there talking to myself. But tip number four. Um, I would say try to make sure that your bike has gearing that uh, allows you to stay, you know, below your functional uh, threshold power. You know, so, you know, if your FTP is 250, you know, try to stay, you know, 90% of that on the, the biggest climbs that you have on your route so that you're not going into the red at any time. So this is going to, you know, keep your legs a little fresher. But uh, yeah, also, uh, I guess it kind of gives you a break from having to like, you know, push really hard on the hills if, if you're, uh, you know, just trying to get the, get the distance in. Uh, getting the KOM probably isn't on your uh, list of things to do at that point. So anyways, sorry for the wind. Catch you in a bit. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 100 K. Lap 20, 11, 11. Thirty-seven percent stamina left. I don't know if that uh, equates to another hundred k or not, but let's see how well the old Garmin knows me. All right, let's carry on. Okay, tip number five. I would say uh, make sure all your uh, electronics are charged up. If you haven't, you know chucked a new battery in your heart rate monitor strap or if you haven't like charged your head unit you know to 100 percent just make sure that's done you know hate to miss out on a ride because you know if it's not strava it didn't happen so uh yeah tip five uh yeah especially your phone too because i mean like that's uh you know essential especially if you're uh doing a bunch of photos and uh video on your phone uh could run could run flat by the end of the ride so again sorry for the wind noise but uh all right peace out mm, vegan gummies so good <laughs> oh hey so matt uh 150k I got there's 25k left to go back to the city and then I could do like a little hook lost flies be gone fly be gone um yeah so by the time I get back to the city that'd be like 172 and then if I did the hook to cat yard that would be like another 30 I think so I think it'll work out but um, tip number six um, I was trying to leave as early in the day as possible because you know it's uh, it's 7 p.m. now and uh, yeah I had to wait around for a package so I didn't get out the door till just after 11 so anyways um, tip number six uh, leave as early in the morning as possible because then it gives you some uh, flexibility with uh, regards to like stopping for lunch and having breaks and you know if you do that um, I do of course um, but uh, 
yeah, it just it uh, opens up the uh, op options. <clears throat> I forgot to show you my uh, secret weapon for the last uh, 20k. Power gel hydro. Mucho caffeino. Dun, dun, dun. It's incredible, you know, it's like I'm at 165k. I just chucked down like a handful of gummies, about 40 grams of carbs. And uh, yeah, unreal. Like it just brought me to life. I had to, had to actually rein myself in. So anyways, well, as the numbers tick down. I don't know what that was. Anyways, numbers are ticking down. I'm at 194, so basically just all over but the crying. And uh, yeah, I guess the uh, worst thing about it was uh, that my feet got sore. So bonus tip, uh, put new insoles in your shoes before you go. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, basically I got 5K uh, will get me home. So I will hit the 200K mark there. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome day. It's uh, been an awesome ride. I'm very happy that I was able to do it because uh, to be honest, there was, uh, there was a few times where I was in doubt. Let's just put it that way. Um, especially at the about the 110k mark I was like oh man I gotta do another 90k but uh, yeah you just gotta break it into small bits break it into small rides and uh, win those small victories so my uh, my strategy for uh, starting with the big loop and then uh, making consecutively shorter little out and backs and uh and smaller loops uh yeah that paid off for me so awesome so thanks for tuning in and uh yeah go ride a couple hundred k good luck and uh post it <laughs> all right if you want to uh tell me about your experience riding long distance throw it in the comments below and uh thanks again for tuning in all right see you in the next one oh by the way uh garmin thinks that i've had uh less than one stamina percentage for about the last 30 kilometers so anyways i guess i proved that one wrong hey sucker lap 40 959